I'm going to jump on the tour boat in the poison swamp and then I'm going to use a cheat to levitate while I'm getting on the boat. And you can see the tour starts and my B button and C buttons are disabled. But if I use a song of time, I can cancel the flag that's associated with disabling those buttons as part of the cruise boat. And you can see, as long as I'm holding target, my B button now has a bow on it. Normally in the boat cruise in the poison swamp, you wouldn't have bow on B. And you can see that if I let go of target at any point, I get my sword back. And Link goes to the state that he would normally be on the boat where he can't move around, he can only pivot on the spot. The next goal is to do this without levitate cheats and to put the bow not on human's B button but on one of the B buttons of the transformations. One issue there is that the transformations can't actually start the boat cruise from here. The only form that is able to actually stand in the middle of the boat and get the dialogue prompt is human link. So we need to figure out a way to start the boat cruise as a transformation and then be falling at the moment the boat cruise actually starts. So first of all we need to take the boat cruise and stop at the Deku Palace so that the boat is stationed here. And one thing to note about this boat is that even if you go to another area in the swamp, if you look through the wall or find a way to look out of bounds, you'll notice that the boat remains loaded at all times. With that in mind, I make my way over to near the potion shop and I'm going to trigger the zeroth day glitch, which is going to turn me into human form, but internally the game will consider me as Zora. So right now it looks like I'm human, but actually Link is, is Zora. And I'm going to trigger time stop near the gossip stone using a bottle, being careful not to get rid of the ISG I just got. And that's going to put me into a state where I'm able to play ocarina while moving around. Which means that we can make our way all the way over to the boat because um, the boat always stays loaded. So I'm going to get out of bounds here um, to get into the rest of the unloaded swamp, which remember the boat will still be there. And I've still got Ocarina State, so at any point if I press the right C buttons and A buttons then I can play any song I like, such as Song of Time. And uh, the reason we do this and go out of bounds is because with the zeroth day glitch I mentioned active, if you go swimming in water at any point then it will disable all your C buttons and we need them to be enabled. So we go into the unloaded swamp which has no water. Once I'm at the boat I can super slide through the trigger and store a Song of Time at the same time. When I select yes to get on the boat, Link walks over a small gap, leaving him in the air for a few frames. In those frames we can target, which maintains the glitch. So to recap, I am technically Zora, but I look like human, so the boat lets me on. I do a super slide off a bomb and play the Song of Time at the same time. This stores a Song of Time and puts Link far away from the boat, just behind a small gap that you can fall down. I select yes to get on the boat and fall down the gap, and in the air I can target. This prevents Link from going into the state where he can't move. Once I'm in this state, I can press yes to Song of Time, which removes the flag that disables my buttons and puts the bow on B. It doesn't look like it here, but trust me, the bow is on my B button here. For reference, here's a clip showing Link falling off the same ledge in the loaded area. Once you're in a state where you have bow on B, eventually Link will die from the damage from the floor. When you respawn, you will be human Link, because the game always turns you human when you die as long as you have the Deku Mask. But on Zora's B button, you'll still have the bow. This means that I can, for example, go into an indoor area where my B button is disabled and turn Zora. That will convert Zora's B button from being the bow into being blank which leads to a glitch called Weird B, where pressing B as Zora when it's blank causes him to use slightly unexpected items. This trick should work exactly the same if you're using Deku or Goron. It's an interesting alternative way to get bow on B.